Hi, I'm JP Robinette. I serve as the engineering and construction manager for the sites project. I'd now like to take you on a tour of the proposed sites reservoir located in Calusa County, about 65 miles north of Sacramento. Tucked in the rolling foothills of the Sacramento Valley, just west of the small farming town of Maxwell, Sites Reservoir is a bold solution to one of the state's most pressing challenges, climate-driven water supply uncertainty. This off-stream reservoir will capture and store water during wetter periods when flows in the Sacramento River are high. That water can then be released in drier times for communities, farms, and the environment. At full capacity, sites will store up to 1.5 million acre feet of water, enough to meet the annual needs of 7.5 million Californians. It will become the eighth largest reservoir in the state. But how does the water get there? Sites will use existing water infrastructure to minimize cost, reduce environmental impacts, and accelerate delivery. Let's start with the Tehama Calusa Canal System. Water from the Sacramento River is diverted at the Red Bluff Pumping Plant, an existing federal facility operated by the Tehama Calusa Canal Authority. During the non-irrigation season, when flows are high in the river, this facility will move water into the Tehama Calusa Canal, where it will travel about 70 miles south to Funks Reservoir, an existing intermediate reservoir just a mile from the future site's location. Funks Reservoir, which has a capacity of 2,250 acre feet, helps regulate water flow into sites and maintains an operational balance. Water may also be diverted at the Hamilton City Pump Station, operated by the Glen Calusa Irrigation District. This station already serves agriculture, private habitat lands, and wildlife refuges. Water travels down GCID's 65-mile main canal and arrives at a new terminal regulating reservoir, roughly four miles from sites. With a storage capacity of 600 acre feet, from there, the water is pumped via large diameter pipelines directly into sites reservoir. These two delivery paths are integral to how sites captures water when it's available. The project also includes significant infrastructure upgrades, including over seven miles of pipeline, seven saddle dams and two saddle dikes to hold water in our natural valley, and two large dams, Sites Dam and Golden Gate Dam, on the eastern rim, carefully designed to avoid disrupting rivers or fish migration. In the past year, the Sites Project Authority acquired key properties that are necessary to build the reservoir. This land is where both Sites and Golden Gate Dams will be located. So how does the water get delivered to our partners that use the Calusa Basin Drain? Sites Reservoir connects to the Dunnigan Pipeline, which can return water to the Sacramento River. From there, it reaches partners through existing conveyance systems, benefiting cities, farms, and even delivering dedicated environmental flows as part of the Prop 1 ecosystem public benefit. Sites participants who have water stored in sites all have access to their water at the same time. No agency or entity is prioritized over another. Participants have control over how and when they use their water. They can use it, sell it, or store it. It's their choice. To support local communities, the project will create thousands of jobs, boost regional economic activity, and will build or realign 46 miles of roads, including the Sites Ladoga Bridge, which preserves east-west connectivity for the surrounding rural communities. Sites Reservoir is more than a reservoir. It's a climate resilient investment in California's future. It's time to build sites now. Learn more at sitesproject.org.